In Bolivia, leaders of the Civic Committee of Santa Cruz declared a new strike for this Friday to press for the release for the governor of that department, Fernando Camacho. Our correspondent, Freddy Morales, with the details. The Santa Cruz Civic Committee, in an emergency meeting, authorized its followers to carry out the necessary actions in a 24-hour civic strike this Friday to pressure for the release of the governor of that department, Fernando Camacho. We are aware of the right of the citizen of Cruzeña in general that between the legal, peaceful and democratic framework they can carry out the actions they consider convenient to demand respect for the rights of the institution, of the elected authorities and the freedom of the people of Cruzeña. It declares a departmental TV strike of 24 hours starting at zero hours on Friday, December 30, 2022 demanding the immediate release of our governor. The governor of Santa Cruz is accused of terrorism for having promoted the November 2019 COP that overthrew President Evo Morales. He was arrested in Santa Cruz and transferred to La Paz to take his testimony. However, he invoked his right to silence. Private doctor trusted by Mr. Luis Fernando Camacho Baca had been present there were doctor from the ombudsman office, doctor from IDIF, and other doctors also at the request of Fernando Camacho Baca himself. All of them in due time have made the corresponding evaluation and uniformly have indicated that he is stable. According to the prosecutor's office, Camacho refused to testify in La Paz and a judge ordered his arrest, which led to violent actions by his supporters who set fire to six state buildings and more than 30 vehicles in Santa Cruz. No Bolivian authority, no matter how he or she was elected, is about the law. No Bolivian citizen is about the law, be it mayor, governor, congressperson, or any other elected or appointed authority. In La Paz, relatives of victims of human rights violations during the year of Janine Añez de facto government, which Fernando Camacho helped style, hope justice will be done. Today, we are asking all the authorities to make justice for Senkata and the victims that have suffered serious human rights violations. At no time have their human rights been violated as they have done with us. We did not to have medical attention. At that time, there were young people in a state of coma. They would have saved their lives, but now they have medical attention and all the guarantees have been provided to them. After the November 2019 COP, Fernando Camacho, then president of the Santa Cruz Civic Committee, revealed that his father had arranged with the police and military to depose President Evo Morales. Two massacres took place during the facto government, with 38 people killed, 500 wounded, and 1,500 arrested. Freddy Morales, Telesur, Bolivia.